Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily deactivate your Facebook account. So maybe you want to take a break from Facebook for a bit, so you want to deactivate your account temporarily on Facebook. I will show you guys how to do that in this video today. So first things first, make sure that Facebook is all the way updated so that this works for you like it does for me. And then after you do that, go over to Facebook. Now here, what you're going to want to do, you want to click on the three bars in the bottom right corner. It should say menu. Now, once you go to your menu, scroll down to settings and privacy. It should have a drop down bar that looks like this and settings should be inside of it. Click on settings after you open it up. Click on account and personal information at the top. Now, once you click on that, at the bottom of all the options, there's account ownership and control. Click on that and it'll bring you to this page. Here, you want to click on deactivation and deletion. So if you want to deactivate your account, click on that. And once you click on that, make sure you choose on deactivate account and not delete account. Once you do that, click on continue to account deactivation. Here, you will have to enter your password. So just put your password in real quick. And after you do that, click on continue. And once you click continue, it'll ask you why you want to do it. You can just click on the top one. This is temporary. I'll be back or any of the other ones that you choose. Click on continue and it will bring you to this page here. Now here at the bottom of the page, you can choose how long you want to deactivate your account for. Don't reactivate automatically is probably the best one. But if you want to reactivate it automatically after a couple days, you can choose a different one. And once you do that, click on deactivate. And here you scroll all the way down and deactivate my account. This won't deactivate your messenger account, but you can turn off your notifications as well. So you don't get any notifications if you don't want notifications. So after you do whatever you want to do, click on deactivate my account and it will deactivate your account. Now to log back in, all you have to do is log into Facebook. So let me reset Facebook real quick. And here you just put in your info and it will log you back in unless it goes like that. But you'll be able to log back in once you put in your old information. So just put in your password. And then once you put in your password, it will let you log in and your account will be activated once again. So that's how you deactivate and activate your account. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them and I will see you guys next time.